வாங்கி விட்டுருக்கேன் வட்டி காசு வாங்க போகிறேன் Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Okay. Again. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. And that's it. Fine. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting the sections when you're done. Okay. As you can. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Easy, Angus is bull. your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit! Get him! Get a rope on him, and try and calm him down. I got a bill! 
Hold that. Bad boy. Bad boy. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. There, there. There, there. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. your mouth boy you will be the first one we kill leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how oh, fancy pants get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. said he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, you go get him now. Come on, get him. I'll oh, kick his head in, Bob. Come on. Uh, yeah. Uh, He's got a few loose screws. Uh, no. Get his spins on women. Saves on hands. Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. 
I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Jim! They got Dickens! Over by the stick! Get the cat out of here! It's over. It's rich man's folly. You boys are over! Who's this? New hand? <laughs> You're that tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Watch it, brother! Crap. He ain't getting up. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. I got this. 
You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. Said something about my wife. Pants thinking, shit shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good, right. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she. <laughs> You're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, oh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. <sighs> now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee only thing I know how to do is come on get you take care now of course it's nice getting out of the house huh I like being in the house pa I think just about the other things you like boy what happened the other night with those men. Did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Can we go a little slower? Ma said it was pride or something. Well, Ma was wrong about that. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I, 
It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Enough for now. That kid's strawberry, eh, hey, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. And I trust you not to drive off with it. Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. But cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down. Okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah.
Tem que me responder lá que você não sei tudo, tá vendo aqui, né? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? We'll get there. Stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. We need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move. Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. You killed a fella out in Roanoke a few months back. Sure. He had it coming to him. That was my brother. <laughs> I see the resemblance. A pair of goddamn morons. You're talking bullshit, mister! Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look for. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Pop. Son, I need you to hold it together. Things could have gone real wrong for us. Okay, here we are. That was 
was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the? What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this.
That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Venison, all right here, folks. Good morning. Morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Thanks. Hey, what? Just 
Just calm down. Ain't like a care. Good people of Valentine got nothing Look to worry about from you, have they? I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, <laughs> who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> I didn't do that about you. You... you kill a feller up by road? We got a bit of a ride. I know. How you do? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him the, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. What can I do for you? All right, see what you can find. Like I said, no one's name is. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? Uh, no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's a resort town, you see. The, Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Room three is just up there.
Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! No! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Get him! He went right! This is a predicament. Hey, get him! Again! Stop it! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man! But it's all a mistake! My wife... My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you.
Any for the blind? Any for the blind? Any for the blind? Epa. Any for the blind? Any for the blind? Any for the blind? Okay, Missy. Penny for the blind! Help a blind man! Here you go! Embrace those who love you, not the Come memory on, of those who pretended to. Well, okay then. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But. <laughs> I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm. On account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork.
Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. Afraid... Afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gone. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I saw you going into the I bank. Think By the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> I don't know what to do well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? You gonna mount? Follow me. Sir. Syllables don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you 
damn grunting fool. This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never <laughs> thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you. And not looking for a place to bury you out here. <laughs> this is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you are. the chapter. Part two. Oh, it's not part two. Uh. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I went into town, and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good. Get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Right. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums?
sir. First time here. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out <coughs> behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> oh, I want to take a ball. Beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. You ain't being bullet. You don't know the half of it. John? You're. You're. I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten and dare I say unbeatable lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything <laughs> else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Just yet. Lone Wolf. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Hit him, Lone Wolf. Hit him, Charles. <laughs> Pretend he's Micah. Stupid Lone Don't black out just yet. Knock him out. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Redskin. Lone Wolf. <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my no, mind. I'm not sitting so thick. Mighty on Ultra. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Nvidia such as him. We just made the bed of sex. Are you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, 
My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. Here you go. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm... Bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life is really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking for you. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, they picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San and ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. 
You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. Your whole crowd just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet. Это было уже ранее. Yeah. 
Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer thief. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. <laughs> My lady did that. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. A ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so easy. He might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. Tree. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, 
got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Come on, John, help me find this. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellow just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Come on, on your lady. horse. Let's get after them. Ha! They'll be coming through here. Talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Here, get off your horse. This 
might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. <laughs> all right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Y'all, come back. What we doing? Make up your mind, John. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Take one of them, I'll take the other. You got throwing that? Just not be the death of us. Come on. Put it to that. Really loot, really loot. Look out, Sadie, they're on to us. I'm going to bring it in.
Oh. Give it a get up. और लोग भी बच्चे से पढ़ते हैं बिल्ला Sapati ke liye repair hai na the. Sapati ke. Pala hi wana thala hai kampo.
I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> How'd it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine, and with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now, mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But... Oh, here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. I hate you. It's your cell at the end there. Object! All right there, sir. Would you watch out? You don't want to do this. Just put him on the bed. Damn you! We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, all yeah. Right. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's... John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. 
You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? Fire I'm not sure. Probably. I'm not sure. Probably. Fellow came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. Okay. The Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? Let's keep on it. Oh, things like the one while. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> No. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable? Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools? What? No. Wait, the, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. You were gonna say... When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife. Oh, the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess the figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. 
Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? I'll pay. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Where else? Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Hey, Kati, shoot Randa. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on! Over here! Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith! I Help. see him! Help me! Sorry, Candy. No matter what.
இதுலயே இருக்கிறாங்க Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. to go he was chewing my ear off you know what he was getting into did he skinner everyone knows except me later john charles you all right carrying him i got it there's no use in you getting bloody too is he is it Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my lord! What they do to him? I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? Slow down, John. It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? You're gonna lame these horses. This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. 
Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. John. Something on your mind, John? Everything okay? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, man.
And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. जिना ना मैं लेटर पे जा रहा हूँ। अंकल, आई थॉट यू वाज where the hell? Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition. I You're good, girl. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. भी कुल कौन थे अंकल?
free cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, this is him. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to... And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, I hope. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man is very annoying. Can you <laughs> just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Doing okay, girl. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin? You're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't... back the chaos. It's royal wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. Get it? And somewhere I vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. 
You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get it. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. This friend. place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Holy Christ! Oh, boy. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like...
Who was it? Come on! The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. You're a good filly. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but... Clearly, he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. There's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Hope that horse ain't lame. Whoa. Okay. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. 
I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. I shoot okay? They're still alive! Let's see what we can do. Marudu Mohanam da, ada koin ina. Let's <laughs> go. 
மாடி கூடாதா get shot. Just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Ah. Okay, let's go. this bounty second time lucky what do you think Cortez you got any more surprises up your sleeve <laughs> you slow it down
preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. You won't go crazy. Good work today. Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. How was your holiday? I was making money. You think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Let's go. Yeah. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards Tal... Come on. We're good. Okay. John, 
Look, we should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scout, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him... Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. Better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. To the trees. Come on. There, to the right. Two skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Control to our left. Shh. Let him go. Easy, easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. Stay with it. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Oh, 
Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look? Hold on. God, we got to go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Uh, Charles. Uh, 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 behind you. Okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those they bastards. had an idiot thing. Well, got them. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. Carry on. Yeah! 
लारी बोट लान बात है Looks worse than it is. Hurts don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. I'm feeling real weird. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. And this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners were down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? How are you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. 
Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I. I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I mean, yes, I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's, it's, it's life. I can't explain it. What are you, this is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey. My trip with Arthur... I remember now. I picked some flowers, and... A couple of men showed up. Dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Like him, Pop. Can you go start to the other side of the track?
see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Keep going! Spit it out! Are you sucking? Dad! Rufus, no! Don't swallow it! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes... Sometimes... You just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But... But the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. What are you doing, Uncle? So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about you, darling. All armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes. Sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just... Thought if you wanted to earn some money. How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a. There's something else. You wanna work? Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, 
It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back? With the boy? You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you... Huh? I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married? It made me watch it. We're cutting off the main track up here by Manzanita Post. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. Oh, he's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Come on. They ain't here. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Home. Oh. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got it. Follow me. Fella? Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is he gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No. I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out!
think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there, kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... We always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on who disappeared. Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, man? Bounty owner? Get off the road. Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Get her! Damn! <laughs> This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But but Micah? That's something we well, I I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you.
Woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold hearted lizard of a woman. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom and pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Bye, <laughs> I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this lies. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun. Like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fine. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. 
Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. If any luck, Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. <laughs> Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the Drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. <clears throat> oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... Uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. Background? Yes. We have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply... Perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy. A poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. Learn from the best. That is true. You've done this before. Oh, I like it. Quite a pose. So natural, particularly you, sir. Excellent. Very good. Lovely. The 
Feel free to use the chairs if you want. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> <coughs> What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Let's start a Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. Mystery awaits. It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> what are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my, is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seen. All right, <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. What Let me help you <laughs> like I said, 
Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What are you asking? Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No. I mean, proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>